Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to give you a simple hack on how to make a teleprompter mobile with a small gimbal. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As I said in the open, today we're putting a teleprompter on a gimbal. This is something that I recently did on a shoot that I was hired on where we had to film a walk and talk and they wanted me on a gimbal following the CEO of a company as he read from a teleprompter. Now, as you know, a teleprompter can become quite, ugh, what's the word, awful? Uh, to get just right and set up and usually you're doing it on sticks. Uh, adding it to a gimbal, much less, uh, the little guys that are out now became quite a task but luckily we were able to overcome it and ended up with a really great product so what we decided to do was run the teleprompter from an ipad but then how to get that ipad on the gimbal after a little bit of research we found this guy on amazon uh, i'll have a link below but it basically has a clamp on the back that you can tighten and then this clamp right here that we could attach the iPad to. So once you did that, we pull up the teleprompter as you can see here, and then I would actually hold it, get it ready, and then someone else would come and place it on there. Which, as you can see now, it gets pretty hard to do by yourself. And once it's on there, I actually stuck another control back here. Um, it was basically a, uh, an adjustable clamp arm and kind of folded it on itself. And instead of unscrewing this and putting it back here like I normally do, we had that down there for this guy. And so I just put the clamp right here to hold to give me uh, more stability in shooting. And I just walked backwards as he read. It makes the perfect hack. Now, some of the problems that came with that um, are is you're looking down a little bit. Let me just get this off because I don't want to hold this the rest of the video. You usually want to have the teleprompter covering the lens and obviously it was down here. So the best thing to do is to shoot with a wide angle lens like we did and have them far enough back to be able to read and not look like they're looking down. There was a couple of times we switched to a 50 millimeter or a 35 millimeter to get a tighter shot, but it just didn't look right. It looked like he was definitely reading and definitely reading below the lens. But other than that, if you're willing to do the wide shot, which was perfect for us as we walked through a hospital and down hallways and outside, then this is a perfect solution to having a mobile teleprompter. So if you learned something from this and if this was helpful for you and something you've thought about doing and couldn't quite figure out and this helped you, let me know in the comments. Also, let me know if you figured out any other workarounds for the same problem. Thanks again, and if you like these short hack videos, let me know, and I will keep pushing them out for you. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a... What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got another camera... What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have another camera hack. Well, teleprompter hack. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have another prompt...